Hello everybody, good morning, welcome to your card of the day for March 9th. Uh, it's March 9th where I am, it might not be March 9th where you are, or you might not catch it on the 9th. So, it's for the 24 hours ahead from whenever you see this. We're going to see what message is coming up here for all of our lovely friends out there in YouTube land. Okay, my dears. Ooh, we've been having some heavy cards. <laughs> we have the Judgment card. This is a Major Arcana card. So, Major Arcana cards are going to come up anytime that we're at a significant crossroads. We're coming into a significant chapter in our life. It's a defining moment. The things that we're experiencing are directly connected to... Um, are directly connected to like what we came here to accomplish what we came here to master what we came here to experience so we can't fail unless we stop and we give up altogether that's the only way we're going to fail because anytime we're at these defining moments these new chapters the the things that we agree to experience our angels and guides are with us they're around us they're helping us they're they're here to help us succeed. So the only way we're going to fail is if we just give up altogether. The judgment card can be overwhelming because it's telling us it's time for a big decision. Some of you might feel like you're being called to do something and that might be freaking you out. Okay. Um, I can tell you from my own experience when I felt I was being called to do tarot and energy healing and then eventually to start putting videos on YouTube. I was terrified. That might not seem scary to a lot of people, but to me it was like a nightmare. I, I fought it so hard. I didn't want to do it. So some of you might be in some situation where you feel like you're beginning to receive guidance that you're meant to help in a certain way or that you're meant to use your gifts and abilities to help in a certain way or you're meant to put yourself out there or share your story or mentor or help or heal or teach others. Whatever it might be, you might be feeling as though you're being called to do something. For some of you, maybe you're feeling called to leave a religion or a political party. Okay, uh, that can be absolutely terrifying, absolutely terrifying. Uh, and so some of you are being faced with these big decisions and you're feeling called to make them. As I said, your angels and guides are with you. They're helping you. They're helping you. And so you can call upon that help. You can pull upon that help. You can take from that, that strength and that energy. Uh, the judgment card, I do feel for some of you, something might be occurring today. That is, you're having to make a choice between high road and low road. You're having to make a choice between light and dark. You're having to make a choice between good and evil. I feel like some decision today that you're having to make, it's, it's going to be very significant in terms of what direction you're going in, right? Like a choose your own adventure novel. Do you wanna go this way? Turn to page 48. Do you wanna go that way? Turn to page 52. It's, it's a defining moment happening here for you guys with some of the decisions that you make, whether it's uh, uh, involving your career or your belief system or how you're choosing to handle a situation. I do feel some of you are going to have an opportunity to really, really, ah, uh, just like really take down uh, someone whom you do not like, someone who has not been fair to you, someone who may be kind of very slimy. And I feel something might be happening today where you're being given an opportunity as if this person is just being handed over to you on a silver platter. And you have the opportunity to do a lot of damage, a lot of damage here. And I feel like the judgment card for those of you is coming up like, are you going to handle this ethically though? Are you going to take the high road? Are you going to take the low road? If you take the low road, even though you might be in some ways ethically justified because this person's been so terrible, 
there may be really major consequences for you if you take the if you take the low road. Right? People sometimes joke around and they say, Oh, orange is not my color, right? And some of you might say, I look good in orange. I don't mind orange. But really think about it. Think about it. Is it worth it? Is it really worth it? Especially if you have children. You know? Is is it worth it for you to be uh, facing big uh, legal consequences? Potential jail time. Uh, uh, financial consequences. It, it just, it, is it really worth it in the long run? I do feel some of you have a chance, however, to really, uh, really get back at somebody. And you have to really weigh out those options and think about what, what you want. Keep in mind, people are not going to escape their karma. People are not going to escape their judgment. We don't need to do it to them. It's going to catch up to them eventually. So it's not like if you don't do this, they're going to get away with it. They're not going to get away with it. Or it could be that you can go after them, but you have to ask yourself, how can I do this in a legal way? How can I do this within the law? How can I do this uh, within a way that's not going to backfire against me? To where you can go, but you're kind of measuring your own strength or you're measuring how hard you're going to come at this person or how hard you're going to stick it to them. Some of you are uh, on a spiritual path and you may be realizing that some of the energies or entities you've been working with uh, maybe are a little darker than you realized and you might be having to make a decision what you're going to do in terms of who you're aligning yourself with spiritually. Now, I know there's the whole, don't come at me in the comments. I know there's the whole argument of you can't have light without dark and everybody has dark and everybody has light. And I understand that and I get that. But some of you are going to have to make a decision here as far as like, how dark are you going to go? Or is, is, is this the path you choose to work with? Is this the, um, the, the teachings you really choose to follow? Some of you may have fallen into uh, Luciferianism and uh, seen this as a path of enlightenment. And you may be finding yourself down a rabbit hole that's going in a direction you didn't expect. And you, maybe you're having to make a decision in that regard as well. Okay. Um, I know that they're on here, that they're, they're watching these videos, they're watching these channels, and I've had a severe psychic attack over the last year, I would say. So I'm not going to tiptoe around it, and I'm just going to say it out there, you know. Uh, some of you are into this stuff, and some of you maybe are beginning to question it. Maybe some of you have been here with the <laughs> with the intention of trying to send me that energy and maybe you're maybe you're realizing that it's coming back to you and i'm not doing it i'm not doing it i don't curse people i don't do that return to sender stuff i hand it over to god i hand it over to the angels so i'm not out here putting curses on people i'm not out here kicking energy back to them but some of you maybe have found that the path that you thought was that of enlightenment really is taking you to a dark place and you have to decide what you want to do about that. It's not my place to tell you. You want to worship the devil? Worship the devil. Not my business. That's your choice. I'm not getting involved. So that's it. Heavy card, heavy message. Choose your decisions wisely. Those of you who are feeling called to a higher calling, um, know and understand that you would not be called to this if you were not being given the support, if you were not being given the help. Okay? And uh, my dog agrees. <laughs> I hope you all have a lovely day. Love readings for March. Arlington in the description. 
uh, the readings for the weekly forecasts are linked in the description. If you would like to schedule a private reading with me, the link is in the description. Calendly.com slash July. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Have a lovely day, my dears.